afternoon. Let's going to, I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving Day it comes in November. Be about two weeks away, and it's often called Turkey Day. And that came from, came from the tale about the first Thanksgiving, where the Indians had turkeys and brought them in to eat and all that, and they had their first Thanksgiving Day. But considering the location and time that that happened, it probably wasn't turkey. It was more likely to have been deer, duck, or fish. Would have been the meal or the meat in the meal. But uh, turkey seemed to be the uh, most favored meat source for Thanksgiving. The only problem is they're talking now about being a shortage of turkeys. Uh, they give several reasons, uh, the pandemic and lack of people to take care of them and all of that, but uh, the price on the turkey, if you go out to buy one and can find one, is probably going to be two to three times what it was last year. Uh, but uh, so it makes you start thinking about an alternate meat source and what could be better than the most prevalent meat source in Texas and the South and everything is wild hogs. Beauty part of them, they're so plentiful that you don't even need a hunting license in Texas to kill the wild hogs unless it's on government property and then you need a license. But uh, uh, you can hunt them yourselves or you can get uh, go on commercial hunts where they guarantee that you'll come back with a pig or hog, whatever you want, whatever size. And uh, they have one day hunts, three day and uh, that, that's a quick outing of a weekend and whatnot is go on a hog hunt. They also hunt them from helicopters. And then in addition to that, there's a lot of people who trap those hogs and keep them pinned up, feed them, and they will sell you a hog on the hoof or sell it to you killed and dressed and ready for the oven or however you're going to cook it. Uh, they're called game processors. Uh, you won't find them listed in the uh, yellow pages or anything like that. You kind of have to ask around. Uh, find a butcher shop, ask them, they will give you, uh, if they do it themselves or if there's somebody they know that does it. Here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, there's approximately a dozen wild game processors that you can go to and uh, have different prices. You just have, just have to shop around. But uh, there, there's literally more wild hogs in Texas than there are domesticated. including the pig farms up in the Panhandle and all of that. And uh, they're, they're a real problem. They destroy crops, gardens, yards, uh, football fields. They get in those and root them up for the grass roots. And uh, they're highly destructive. And they will even uh, tear down fences to get to domesticated hogs on farms and whatnot to drive them off. And, bring them into their herds. They're always looking for sows to breed and that's the way they have of increasing their herds. And you can find them all across the South and up the East Coast and as far North as Kansas and Nebraska. And, uh, and you can either hunt them yourself or buy them ready to go. So Cooking them is no different from roasting a turkey. You either have you can do it in the oven or your smoker in the backyard. Or if it's
it's a big pig, you may have to build your own smoker big enough to cook them, and there are uh, barbecue places that will custom cook them for you. But uh, you might consider a wild hog for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, it's a lot easier done, and uh, tell you the truth, I prefer roasted hog over turkey any day. And uh, when you're figuring size and the size crowd you'll have, turkeys, they say you pick, have two pounds of turkey for each person. On the wild hogs, you only need a pound and a half. They produce more meat per weight than turkeys do. So uh, get, a, get yourself a wild hog for Christmas. God bless America. God bless Texas. And where else would you find a sign like this? Bye.